Hey guys, coming here uh, to talk about epoxy chemistry real quick and what you guys uh, can use out in the field. Hope you don't mind, I br did bring my uh, apparently sleeping, oh, now he's awake, uh, co-host Rocky. So hope you guys don't mind if he joins. Uh, now real quick for you guys, there are three main types of epoxies and we're gonna remove the hardener side because there's a lot of different things we can do over there. But those are your bis A, your bis F, and your Novolac. You've probably heard things like a Novolac thrown around around it's it's often in the name of products as well um for you guys from a chemical resistance perspective it's a, it's a pretty easy tier to follow with your bis a's being the quote unquote bottom doesn't mean they're bad but just the bottom bis f and then your novolac and for a good rule of thumb your bis a's are going to be really good in that 1.5 or 2 pH up to 12. Some can go up to 13 and 14, again, depending on the hardener as well. Your bis F is gonna step up into that zero to 14 range along with your Novolax, with the Novolax just offering you more capabilities from a force cure perspective, as well as just a broader range of chemicals. Um, and so for you guys, where does that come into play? So if you're dealing with mild acids, alkalize, different things like that. Your bis A's are gonna be great. They're good, they're a good general purpose to cover a wide range of things without getting into anything too harsh. Uh, for the bis F, my favorite application is for demineralized water because it gives you a boost in chemistry without stepping you into a Novolac. And then the Novolax, that's where we hear about all the real nasty stuff, whether it be sulf uh, sulfuric acid, sodium hydroxide, all your high concentrations, real low or real high pH, and often at temperature. One of the big things that your Novolax can give you, not that you can't do this with your bis A's and with your bis S, but where it's most prevalent is your ability to force cure. And so one of the two resins that I like, there is a non-force cured version where if this one, the non-force cured version, was applied at ambient temperature and same with the force cured version, the non-force cured version would actually outperform the force cure type. That said, when it comes to being able to do an elevated temperature cure, say at 200 degrees, 250 degrees, to really ramp up both the mechanical attributes and your chemical resistance, the force cure design product is very good. That's something where um, you can go to say 98% sulfuric, which is reagent grade, and actually hold up for more than a week. Um, now with that, it can be quite aggressive. I've seen one year, two year, you can get longer than that. And in some cases, you'll wanna switch over to a, a complete phenolic resin, which is a completely different chemistry there. But the Novolax are good for a much higher chemical resistance in a broad range of systems. So hope this guys, uh, sorry, hope this helps you guys. If you have any questions, drop a comment down in the description. Be happy to help you. If you need anything, reach out. Take care, Godspeed.